Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Any of you guys trying to find how to test crankshaft position sensor on BMW 1 series, guys? And pretty much it doesn't matter which engine you have, four cylinder, six cylinder. Uh, if you have a gasoline diesel engine, guys, the procedure will be the same. Stay with us and we'll explain how to test crankshaft position sensor on BMW guys 1 series. Now, uh, why we're doing that video? Because many of you asked us in the comment section below guys and that's our response. We'll demonstrate on N52 engine, which is actually one of the most popular engines here in the United States. But the procedure and the test uh, will be the same for all of them and we will explain guys how to do it. Uh, before we start, every single car we get at the shop, we try to make at least guys two to three hundred free videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to do things and fix things. Why? Simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you guys. If you need to buy a new sensor, replacement parts, tools, scanners, uh, multimeters that uh, will be using voltmeters guys, all that will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So please check it out let me show you what we have here now so now guys uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit I'll explain a few things and then we'll show you how we are going to test it our crankshaft position sensor okay let me uh, let me just find it quick okay and see where it went our crankshaft position sensor is right here and usually on that six cylinder engine is right under the starter this is the wire that uh, plugs into the sensor Okay, we disconnected the wire. Now this wire, most of the times on BMW 1 series, you will have three individual wires. One of them will be thinner, black in color, usually black with white, it could be different colors, guys. This is a ground wire, this is a negative wire. Then you will have one positive ignition uh, wire coming from the ignition switch, and the voltage in that wire will be corresponding to the voltage you have in the car battery. Usually it's that orange wire right here, and uh, the other wire will be your signal wire. That signal wire sends, guys, a voltage to the car computer, uh, <coughs> And uh, this is the alternating voltage wire that actually uh, sends the signal uh, that it receives, it receives from the camshaft, uh, from the crankshaft position sensor. Now, if you have different order of the wires, guys, we'll show you how to find out that. Now, you, you can see on the front, you have numbers that it says one, two, and three. In our case, the wire that we need is in number three. But you will need to go ahead, guys, and turn the ignition switch on without starting your car. Make sure you don't start your car. We have the intake manifold removal uh, re removed here, guys. Everything. So uh, you have to be extremely careful around the car battery, uh, uh, around the car uh, starter and the alternator because you have positive 12 volt wires and you don't want to short things out. But uh, it's not recommended to do it, guys. But we will show you how it's possible to test that sensor. So we'll turn the ignition switch on and we'll continue. Ignition switch is when the dash lights will be on on your car, but the car will not be running, guys. So, guys, now the black wire in the middle, usually it's a negative wire. As I said, the, uh, the other wires we need to poke with the red one, with the red lead, and see until we find a 12 volt supply. Okay, check it out. One of them will be a 12 volt supply. In our case, it will be, okay, it will be the orange one. Okay, we'll try to do it sometime, guys. Okay, let me just leave that one here so we can probably reposition. Nope. Okay, let me hold this one. Okay, right there. Okay, let me just move 12 volts. Now let's poke with the red lead, the other yellow wire, and we should get about five volts. That's the wire that we need. The one that's about five volts, that's the one that we need. Not the one that's 12 volts, guys. We need the five volt wire. Now, we're going to go ahead, we peeled ours, but there is a special device that you can use to actually clamp it to the wire instead of peeling it like we did perfect now what we're going to do guys we're going to put the red lead right there in the wire we're going to put uh, the black lead on the alternator now at that point you need to turn the ignition switch off and reconnect your uh, uh, your actually guys crankshaft position sensor don't do what we do we're just going to connect it so we don't waste your time Black lead on negative on ground, make sure it's scratched and shiny ground. And you get five volts when you attach the red lead to the uh, to the crankshaft position sensor signal wire. And if you come with a metal tool, a big socket, and you get it close to the sensor, from five volts it needs to drop to zero volts. Check it out. Then you remove it, it goes to five volts. 
and then if you get it close, zero volts, five volts, zero volts, five volts. So that's a good working sensor, guys. When you have a metal in front of it, it should go almost close to zero. When you guys uh, remove it, you should get close to five volts. So that's how you guys do it on BMW 1 Series. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time.